Henry, what's your topic today? My topic wa- is, <laughs> was is was not anymore. But now, <laughs> it up. but now, dicks. <laughs> five guys come in the room. <laughs> uh, five guys in the tell. room. Fuck yeah. Henry, what's your topic? <laughs> My topic is if you had in, to in some way reinvent the fantasy genre, could you? And how would you do it? I'm going to let you two talk this out because I have a specific thought about this and I don't want to say it just yet. So The Witcher. <laughs> so what I, so my idea is like all of so I'm going to go with a few like big points in fantasy lore and like where it comes from. So you got your Lord of the Rings obviously. Duh. Conan. Mm-hmm. Duh. Elder Scrolls lore is a big point. Yeah. What are some other really big ones I'm forgetting? Because then you have all, like, the smaller ones. Like, like, you got, like... Dragon Age. Yeah. Sort of. Um, uh, Ultima, if you're a PC gamer. Uh, that also goes with, uh, what is it, Gothica or whatever? Yeah, or Baldur's Gate. Mm-hmm. Um, PC RPGs were so good. It's, like, a completely different time. <laughs> you can't even play those games anymore. Yeah. But, like, um, but my point yeah. was... Everything draws back. Everything goes back to Lord of the Rings. Like you can't in some way, shape, or form. You can't play like a fantasy. You can't have anything fantasy themed without, in some way, being like, "Oh, this reminds me of Lord of the Rings." Because you got your high elves. Your are there ogres in Lord? Yes, because they fight them in The Hobbit. Mm -hmm. You are dragons, dwarves, dwarves. Hobbits, even though that's more just Lord Hobbits of the Rings. Is, yeah, Hobbits But, like, everyone like tries to sneak in their version of Hobbits. Yeah. But it's like, is there a way at this point... Even, like, um, Munchkin has Hobbits. Yeah. yeah. But, like, is there a way that you could in any way change the fantasy genre so that it's and not... still have it f- fantasy? So that it's less like Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Like, to kind of just split apart from... Because the closest thing I can think of to an fantasy setting that has nothing to do with Lord of the Rings is Conan. Because Conan's pretty much just Mad Max in the 1200s. Yeah. yeah. It's like Mad Max and He-Man had a child. And it was raw as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Who doesn't love themselves some Conan? Seriously. Um, have Did you ever play, just to kind of go off for a second, did you ever play the Conan game? I believe it was for the 360? No. How is it? No, that's why I was asking. I have no fucking oh. idea. I, but the cover looks so cool. Did it come out at the same time the movie came out? I don't think there so. There was a Conan no. movie recently? Like, more recently. Wasn't it like, it, wasn't it, like a rec- a, a, it was like a Disney Conan movie. There was, I think you're thinking of John Carter. There was a more recent, like, serious Conan movie that without Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. But uh, we don't talk about that one because it's not the original Conan. Yeah. <laughs> the I'm, best movie of all time. I might be thinking of John Carter. Anyway. Um, you're probably thinking of John Carter because I think that's the same writer. Yeah. Um, I think some of my main issues with high fantasy games like that and I think the what they not kind Conan of... O'Brien God, <laughs> Conan O'Brien I'm looking up Conan <laughs> <laughs> Andy Richter as a sidekick <laughs> I'm the sassy one <laughs> I'm the I'd watch Burley. the shit out of that Co- just Conan the Barbarian with Andy Richter <laughs> wow <laughs> he's, he's like the Gollum in Shadows of Mordor <laughs> he's like somewhat comic relief <laughs> um, anyway so you're saying about high fantasy high fantasy and i think it's the most laziest thing about it and of course the most recycled thing and what they kind of use as a crutch all the time is species and that species kind of controls the whole spectrum conan the barbarian uh 2011 film by warner brothers there There you go go. i completely forgot that happened yeah um anyway so yeah species like species is always like the main thing and what either people are looking forward to or what the game kind of relies on because that kind of changes everything about the game but they were ref- they holy fucking- shit i'm sorry i, I, I keep interrupting you guys guess who played conan and conan the barbarian the 2011 film i feel like he's gonna say oscar isaac for some reason jason momoa from game of thrones and who's also playing aquaman okay we kind of have to see this now <laughs> that sounds awesome fuck, let's watch this fucking movie <laughs> that's really good casting yeah <laughs> um that's funny that you said oscar isaac because like me finding out recently that he played a couple roles and being like what like i didn't even notice him until like after star wars the first movie i ever i remember seeing him in was inside Lloyd davis 
the first one I remember him is like Ex Machina. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't remember him from anything. You mean Drake? <laughs> <laughs> I know when that. Um, <laughs> that was the best. Scene. So <laughs> my, my thing about fantasy, I, I think I'll finally put my. Two cents I didn't finish since, my point though. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I was like, you like, guys were on the point where you're singing Hotline Bling. I needed to like guide it, okay? <laughs> Oscar Isaac, um, he, no, but the else? quintessential high fantasy character. <laughs> I know I started at the sidebar, but I needed to be the person who brought brought it back. You're saying, anyway, you were saying the thing that I think they uh, just kind of rely on race all the all the time, and I think that's the most recycled thing. Because so it's a race issue. <laughs> I, think so. I think it's a race. <laughs> it issue. always is. Um, because like you said, high elves. Uh, uh, like orcs, orcs, dark elves, hobbits, dwarves, ogres, ogres giants, yeah, dragons. it's the same shit over and over again, and it kind of gets old after a while. The thing that I like about Elder Scrolls is I kind of think they took everything and kind of sort of made it their own thing, but just by using like other recycled things like skeletons and shit. And it's I think God. I think to kind of spread apart from the high fantasy thing, you need more creative people to come up with their own At the very least elder scrolls has Khajiit. yeah exactly which is a difference yeah yeah which is a huge difference and it's usually what people go to play because it's refreshing and i think that's kind of what you need is more races like Khajiit that are brand new and refreshing to the genre to kind of change things up a bit i think Khajiit's kind of did enough for elder scrolls to make it that much more interesting yeah you like, know what i mean it does make it like more like it's funny because it's never like the characters that make like it's always the lore that makes fantasy worlds different from each other, but never like what's in it. Yeah, and and because it's just recycled shit that's in it, it really isn't that much different. And yeah, I think that's the main problem with high fantasy games and why people have such a tough time getting into it because it's just like, well, it doesn't like th you're saying this one's great, but then people say that one's great, and they're kind of the same shit to me, kind of thing. And it's I think that's like they the need problem. to do what sci-fi does. And, like, make completely different aliens for everything. Every Cause it's time. Because like, it's not like you go to both Star... It's not like both Star Wars and Star Trek have Gungans in it. Like, yeah, I can't see, like, aliens from Farscape in Star Wars or some shit. You or know? the aliens from Alien, even <laughs> though that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, that, I guess that was the end of my point. That I think the main problem is just, like, species. make new characters, make new species, don't use the same shit. Mix the races. It's like Wookiees aren't in every fucking sci-fi fucking movie. So why do orcs have to be in every single fantasy? Piece? Yeah, it's like... It, it, it's not always somebody swamp, you know? Go on. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Get out of my swamp. I fucking hate you. <laughs> you know Shrek, Shrek themed action RPG. <laughs> the weird thing, like throughout, like you guys talking, I'm like, oh fuck, I really want to watch Harry Potter. And now it's like, oh, wow. oh fuck, I really want to watch Shrek now. Go like, oh, fuck yourself. Um, the... Harry Potter is fantasy. Harry Potter is Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of me swamp, Hagrid. Um... <laughs> I think the the my main problem with fantasy and how I would fix the genre in itself is um, you guys bring up great points of like the the lore in each world is definitely just like very repetitive and it becomes this sort of it's hard for different stories to branch out and like stick out because it's all like the same shit it's like fucking werewolves it's uh those water Orcs. the those water nymphs water nymphs and or fucking, sprites yeah just to kind of go on the side note since we're on like the whole recycled thing still it's like there's a reason why i'm so into game of thrones now it's because they do bring these refreshing ideas these new species yeah, these like, new, like you don't the, have orcs and, or hobbits or anything it's, it's like, like the white everyone's walkers people and shit. yeah like yeah. the white walkers are so fucking refreshing to have in this kind of world like yes they're kind of still this like zombie idea they're thing, like they're the uh, what's the warcraft class that's like the necro people i don't remember I necrophilia that's definitely not it <laughs> um it was I, I i think i have to look this up but it's like them, i used to like play the, a lot of warcraft the um, scaly skin people there it's like about religion and shit it's like so refreshing um so like the the problem i would have with um is not like like you guys do bring up a good point of like maybe they should try to come up with new species when you're creating a, a new fantasy world and yeah there there is that point but you know it's all based fantasy is based on like what we see here on earth and like heightening it to like undead a that was it a terrifying level and um so like if you want your world to stand out like 
give these like new cre- these creatures that have been uh, shown through time and time again with like more interesting designs and whatnot, you know, like fucking werewolves and like a, a lot of the enemies specifically in The Witcher Three are not memorable just because I feel like I've seen them millions of but times before. That was, you know, what works for me with The Witcher that makes it more interesting than other fantasy things. The fact that it takes like kind of a generic fantasy world mm-hmm. in a lot of ways. Yeah. But it makes it different by making the idea of the Witcher such like a human idea. He's I was about to just say, a like, fantasy bounty hunter. Yeah. 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 And um, like that's what makes it interesting of like seeing like And so like, you're getting to my point is the main problem I think is the same repetitive stories that are told. You're always a lone hero. Well no, it, it's like with fantasy movies, it, with fantasy True. movies, it's like a group Lord of, of the he- Rings. It's like a group of people, and we, we all have to do this one thing. And a lot of fucking fantasy movies are that, and it's really like it's to the point where it's group I mean, of people go off everything, on everything. Though everything's a group of heroes, as lone hero. But, uh, but I understand. Chief. But like the the way stories are told, and like the progression of a story, and like the th- way things are revealed in fantasy stories are just so fucking repetitive like almost to the point where like i'm tired of it like a lot of people are tired of superhero movies uh, and but then you get like superhero movies or you get fucking stories in high fantasy that like sort of change the game and make it interesting uh captain america winter soldier is like the best comic book movie ever officially declared by bzg Ofe- officially declared by my dick um that's not a breaks through table <laughs> <laughs> bra what are soldier? Because it changes the game and it changes like the way things are revealed and it it, it it has a shift in the story. And I think like The Witcher stands out because there is a shift. You are a bounty hunter in a fantasy world, and that's never really been told before. It rem- also sounds super badass. It reminds exactly. me of Alan Moore a lot. Mm, yeah. mm, like, did you ever read Top Ten? I should lend that to you. It's a really good comic. But like, it's all about like a superhero world. So it's a city where everyone has superpowers, and it's all about the cop precinct in it. Oh, shit. That actually sounds pretty cool. And it's written by Alan Moore, so you know it's great. Nice. Um, So, like, the other point is, like, I I wish, like, specifically for video games that, like, okay, like The Witcher 3 and, like, all of these other fantasy games, like, yes, focus on the lore as much as you want, but I would actually rather you focus on, like, a better story, because I feel like that gets sacrificed a lot of, like, oh, we gotta get deep into this lore, and you only really understand it if you, like, read all of these collectibles and shit, right? And then, like... Like Dark Souls. Like Dark Souls, almost. And and Dark Souls is a very, like... I think Dark Souls actually does it well, because, like, they're making the story obscure on purpose. Yeah. We're like the, like Witcher is like a very sort of like whatever story, you know? And, and, and it's very, because like they got so deep in the storytelling of like everything else that's going on in the world, that the story that you're supposed to be involved in isn't that interesting. And so I think what should be focused on is maybe like, maybe not focus on like how many fucking different creatures you can have in like one world and, or in one experience focus on like, four or five different fucking, like, creatures and, like, really develop them and, like, have them integrated in, into your story and, like, have those exchanges with those creatures, like, few and far between so those moments are, like, more resonant. And... Jack plug. <laughs> what? You said few and far between. Uh, I was like, Jack whatever. plug. <laughs> um, it's a fucking common expression. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you named your fucking pop punk band a very generic saying. Um, uh, and, and it's just, like... Um, you know, it's. I think those moments would be more special if you didn't have like like The Witcher, where you fucking run into like werewolves or fucking those weird like water nymphs, water nymph fucking people or like, swamp guy. Yeah, the swamp things. And like if you didn't run into them every fucking five to ten minutes, like it, it, it gets tedious at one point. Meanwhile, I think, if I played a fantasy game where I actually ran into swamp thing, <laughs> like I, I know this is sounding like just like a more of a crit- critique on The Witcher, but I I, I honestly see that's it like in your a personal lot experience. Of, with that's one. my personal experience because yeah. I don't get into fantasy fantasy games a lot but when i do i see a lot of that and so like the witcher is just the most recent thing that's popped in my head because i played it a few weeks ago and so i but i see that when i do pay attention to high fantasy games i see that a lot and i think if you focus more on story rather than the lore itself that's how you get 
your your uh, high fantasy universe to stick out more because high fantasy shit doesn't do that anymore. So that that's you know that's my two cents on that. Um, just to kind of make uh, one last point for myself, uh, I I very much agree with what you said, um, but um, <coughs> I do kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of go back to this whole like stop. Like I do believe that that's the problem, but I I I still strongly believe that it it is a lot to do with like being having like refreshing ideas and making new species and stuff. At least for me personally, like playing high fantasy like open world games because I play them for feeling like I'm in this environment. Like yes, I love the story and I love finding cults and shit and stuff like that, and I. Just the building your character and feeling like you really are this character and growing on these people and stuff like that. But the reason I play these games is to interact with the environment and really feel like I'm in this world. And the main thing out of everything that I that I play a high fantasy game for is exploring and being scared because I don't know what the fuck is in this cave. But because these these species and these races keep getting reused and recycled all the time it's like it's kind of slowly gone down since like skyrim came out like i've kind of just been noticing like well now i know what's gonna be in this cave thing because all these high fantasy games recycle it's like it's kind of losing this element of like i'm gonna explore this cave and i might fucking die i might find a new creature i might find a cult that's why you're ready. And that's for like Elder another Scrolls problem. 6. I think that's Pirate... why I'm ready for Elder Scrolls Six. Is because I know <laughs> I know they're going to bring refreshing ideas. I know they're going to bring Are a whole new world. That's what they did with Skyrim. It was it was like a, a somewhat of a left turn for Marvel. I'm saying this. I'm, 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 I'm saying this yeah. because of Fallout. Because of every Beth every this kind of like that's the same studio, you know. Yeah. And Beth like everybody thought that they were going to change the game again with Fallout Four, and they no, didn't. And point. it was just more Fallout Three. Not bad. I love Fallout Four. Uh, it's one of my favorite games from last year. And if I played Undertale in time, it wouldn't have been my game of the year, but it was for 2015. And, That's um, a good point. So, like, are, are they going to bring new shit to El the new Elder Scrolls? Like, who knows? Um, but going back to the point of, uh, like, recycled... Sorry. I, 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 I'm trying to backtrack here because I had a thought earlier. Right. Um... I think the problem with high fantasy specifically for video games right now is that they're almost exclusive, exclusively associated with RPG games, mm -hmm. and I think that's like a like, that's another thing where you know Dragon Age Inquisition and you know Elder Scrolls and all of these things were like you're talking about like how you want to dive like deep into these worlds and be like involved in these worlds. That's not high fantasy. That's just RPG, and that's what RPG worlds do. I know, but and I think in my sense of like. Being deep in this world in that genre though mm -hmm. is what I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I think I like. But I think the problem for the is most this. part like that genre is. But what I think I, like, the problem is this. though is like high fantasy for video games so... is exclusively like attached to RPGs, and I think that they should. If you're making a high fantasy game, like just try to like do something else. Try to involve another video game aspect into it that isn't RPG. Because I mean, the first three Warcraft games were strategy games. That that's true, but I'm talking like a lot of like the modern popular like the yeah. last like five to ten years like the high fantasy games are very RPG centric. I just know? want an old school Warcraft game again. I'm tired of World of Warcraft. Uh, yeah. I love Warcraft. So like my yeah. my problem is is like if you want to like do a high so fantasy good. universe, like tell your story. You know, like yeah. have a story that you want to tell. And I know like. Dragon Age Inquisition does it a little bit and whatever, but you, but you know what? Dragon Age, Dragon Age Inquisition is like way too fucking deep and like it's almost like Mass Effect to me, where it's just like okay, this isn't really about the story anymore. It's about the like the relationships with people, and that's not bad, but it's like you're not building on anything. You're really. not building on anything, and it's also There's like no it's, point to... it's we've seen it before. That's a, we yeah. go back to that thing. We've seen that kind of shit before, so. One last thing I'd like to say before this topic. I had this I just had a great idea for a game. Imagine this. Stereotypical Western RPG character, like in that whole generic, like high fantasy world, thrown into the world of a JRPG fantasy. Ooh, world. I knew I like right when you said like Western, I was like, Oh, I hope he says J like Like thrown. how great would that be? That like would imagine be really like cool. Skyrim set in like a weird ass like historical jrpg world yeah 
I'm just imagining, like, that would be such a meta fucking game. I would love that shit. Where, like, I'm gonna pitch that. Like, <laughs> where, where you have, like, the main character from, like, Dragon Age Inquisition or, like, um, or the Witcher or, or Skyrim. Or, or, like, Skyrim. You have that main character, and for some reason in you their. Mean, you mean Fickle Dickle? <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason in their story, like, they, like, get thrown into this, like, different universe. They have no idea what's going on. And it's, like, a JRPG, like, fucking high fantasy universe. That would be fucking awesome. They have to awesome. learn the skills of, you, of, like, what's in a JRPG world. Like, that's we so can't rely good. on mana anymore. What are power points? <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking good. Oh, my God. That's a really that's good great. idea. That, like, that story would be really refreshing. And I think it would honestly like, be really, really funny, too. <sighs> That'd be great. I, Henry is so smart sometimes. I should, <laughs> I should r- write stuff for that and then like you should really like write it. down like he a becomes, pitch like homeless pitching this idea because of us <laughs> <laughs> i used no, to watch henry up... like become like the next fucking like peter big, molyneux like, none of like, my ideas work out but like, big name in video games like he like he's like i don't know how takes... to program shit <laughs> <laughs> well you don't know it. you don't need to all you need to do is like have like a direction and a focus for like a video game that's all you need there you go be a director god damn it god damn it Why'd I have to put that on air? (laughs) (laughs) Everybody's gonna steal your idea. (laughs) 